It's a peak for energy. You're right. So, so this is a big problem with all these sorts of advancing technologies, which is that the amount of energy that they consume is just, it's insane. This is a problem that we, and by we, I mean human species. This is a problem that we have been trying to solve pre-AI as well. We've been trying to solve it forever. But the most, the most promising solution is on the nuclear side still. So, China, for example, they're, they're doing a research where they are trying to create, uh, it's still in prototypal stage, but they are trying to create nuclear-based batteries that are going to be this small, and so they can just be put into any device eventually, and they would last 100 years, 150 years, 200 years. So that becomes that micro-level nuclear energy that you can use, which is clean. If it's that controlled and that small, it's safe. Well, I mean, hopefully it's safe, we'll see. It's still in prototypal stage, but that problem is also going to get solved through technology is what I'm saying. And how do we come up with those solutions? We use AI. You feed all of the energy data into the best AI models, and it'll give you which are the best experiments to do to get to energy solutions. So you're right, that problem isn't solved yet and absolutely needs to be solved because this can become a real reality, but there is a lot of work happening on that as well. And at some point, we'll, I don't know about if we'll solve it entirely, but we'll take the next step, which so far seems on the nuclear side.